Seesaw and click on the green plus and click Share Activity. It will then take you to a library where you can choose previously saved ones from Seesaw under the correct grade or some from your own library that you already have. You can then create your own one. First, give it a title. Then you can start typing your instructions. You can add an example and also add a template for students to use. Go to your Google Slide template that you want to use and click File, Download As, and then click either one of the image ones. It will then download to your computer. You can then add the template under Add File and simply drag the selected downloaded image into your seesaw. You can add a caption to it or draw on it if that is what you are after. You can then start typing your instructions. When you are typing your instructions, you can also add the little features from Seesaw. These features are known as the shortcuts. It is really important when you're typing your instructions that you use the right shortcut for the picture that you require. When you are finished, you can also click on more options and put it in the correct file folder that you need. You can also add it to particular students in your class. If you didn't want your whole class, you could choose individual ones here. You can also add voice instructions, which is where you can, as a teacher, record your instructions in a voice memo. The students will be able to click on this and hear your instructions if looking at the words is too hard. This is great for ESOL students or for your lower level students at a young age. When you are ready, just click the stop and it will process your recorded voice instructions. You can listen to them or you can click preview and it will show you what your activity will look like with the shortcuts included. When you're ready, just click share and it will be added to your Seesaw Journal Library.